Buses are lined up and ready to roll as one of the largest school districts in our area is allowing some students to return to class tomorrow. Fox 2's Katherine Hessel talked with the Rockwood School District principal about in-person learning. All Rockwood students have been doing virtual learning, but tomorrow students in grades pre-K through second grade will get to go into their classroom for the first time. Fairway Elementary Principal Dr. Lorinda Cray says tomorrow isn't technically the first day of school, but it kind of feels that way. This morning at 8.55, the bell went off, and it's the first time we have heard that bell since March. And it just, I think there was a collective, like, excitement that it just set off. We all had goosebumps and felt almost emotional, like... We get to do this again. The Rockwood School District is allowing students in pre-K through second grade to return to in-person learning five days a week. About 20% of parents have chosen to remain all virtual. I truly believe that both decisions are right because it's based on what's right and good for their family. Cray says either way, teachers are committed to keeping students safe and forwarding their education. For the students that are coming back to the classroom, they'll see social distancing markers all over the ground, hand sanitizer stations, and mask wearing. We have told our kids that, or we're planning to tell them, that they are going to be superheroes. They are going to wear their superhero masks, they're going to use their superhero arms uh, to socially distance, and they're just going to be heroes because we're going to take care of each other, keep each other safe and, and healthy. They've also split classes into smaller groups and assigned each student colors and numbers so they know where to sit at lunch, what color mesh bag has their playground equipment, and which playground area to use. We split our playground and our the back of our school up into five different stations, and so we'll also have um, assigned stations per teacher per class one day a week. So yes, things may look a little bit different, but a lot of the sights and sounds of elementary school will be back in action in the Rockwood District tomorrow. Rockwood has not announced when other grade levels could return to in-person learning. Reporting, I'm Katherine Hessel.